Good day, everyone. Hello, or good night, pretty soon. We're going to go see what's underneath the big chair and probably get in big trouble. Even though, again, we have permission this time. It's weird how I feel like we're going to be in bigger trouble this time with permission. It's very strange. Anyway, let's, um... Let's go have a look. I wonder. Well, so we were we were given the map last time. How would I have guessed at this if I'd not found this already? I suppose if the layout looks the same as this building. And it does. Yeah, yeah. It's this building. Plus the stuff underneath. It is neat. Well. Down we go! No one waiting for us. No more than last time. And we did already fight an invader. So maybe this time we're safe. Why wouldn't I feel safe? right now. Here, looking upon all this. This time, I'm assuming they will allow us to use this one. Yes, sound the hanging bell. All right. Here goes. That's three. Um. Ah, dang. Dang and yikes. Not sure what to make of these. That, though... Is definitely a whole thing. And calling in some fiery assistance on this one makes so much sense. Hilde, I'm gonna need you to go to work on this. Meteor, mother of fingers. Oh. Goodness. That is upsetting. So upsetting. There's a lot to not like about everything we are seeing here. Yikes. Fire sword time. Damage is decent. Yeah. Goodness gracious. You are a terror. Ow. Yipes. Yeah, you are a terror with long reach. And you do big damage. Thanks, Great Shield. Whew. 
Ooh, good work over there. You're gross. Gross and weird. Uh-oh. Yipes. Whoa, that's so cool. I hate it. And it's kind of gravity magic as well. Are you from space? I sense yes. Ow. I don't... I don't know what you're about to do with that up there, but, um... Oh, boy. Wow. I don't know what that black hole up there is. I just... I'm scared. Wow. Oh, no. Gracious. It's amazing looking. Look at this. Ow. Should probably move, huh? Don't jump over my good fire. Man, you're scary. Okay, we're fine. A little out of range, huh? Okay. If you're about to go flying again... I'm gonna need to be ready to bring out spells. Okay. Oh, I thought you were... My bad. Misread the situation. Yeah, oh boy. That could've gone bad. Big fire hits. Big fire hits, die please. Whoo! Uh oh. Okay. I was a little worried about what that might do. Remembrance of the Mother of Fingers. Goodness. The Remembrance of Metir, the Mother of Fingers, hewn into the Shadow Tree. The Mother of all two fingers, and finger creepers, was in turn a magnificent, gleaming daughter of the Greater Will, and the first shooting star to fall upon the lands between. That does connect some interesting dots. Like, we've had... We have had beings from space falling down here, kind of in meteor form. We have had the falling star beasts. We've had the... Uh, ah, what are those kind of like stone human uh, humanoids who came down and they like fight with gravity magic and Radon trained under one of them to learn gravity magic. Like we, we have all of those sort of like meteorite beings and there's meteorite uh, sorceries and such that kind of grew out of that. But we didn't really have a connection between all that and the two fingers, like the, the fingers themselves being also a space entity. A similar one, even. I, I like that connection being drawn. Yeah, no, that's, that's really cool. And I am super fascinated to know what, <laughs> what you can make with this. Probably two sorceries I can't use. Goodness, what a place. And what a thing. I feel like I'm not going to be super welcome upstairs anymore. Yeah. I feel like there's a very good chance they're not going to be very happy with me. More strength, though. And we're very close to having another level. Let's just get it. Before anything bad happens. And 
And there we go. Okay. Well, I don't know any other way to get out other than warps. Not seeing one of those little, uh, teleport return points down here. Can't mount up, which kind of makes sense. Nor do I see anything else to run around and collect or find. So, yeah, let's go upstairs and see how they react. So, promise you won't be mad. But I did fight a big finger monster monstrosity. It wasn't even my idea. They started it. Um. Hello? Anyone? Whoa. Seemed like a kind of rapid time of day change. Uh, hello? No? How's it darker out here than inside? Is time of day changing every time I walk in or out of this place? Wow. That's so weird. And cool. Like, I don't know if that's... <laughs> I don't think it's a glitch or anything. I'm just... That's neat. Why is it happening? Is now when I find out why there are bloodstains all over the floor? Has the time come? Hello? Fine. What have you done? Oh. You've wounded Count Emir most irreparably. That was him? Such that he wishes for your death, and I must attend to the Count's concerns. You don't have to. You could just not. Yeah, okay. Why? Why did you cross Count Emir? I feel like it was his idea. I don't feel I deserve blame for this. What do I want to fight you with? Very big sword rarely fails me. I feel like that might be... a good solution, although it is a little hefty. Right now. With this gear in particular. Oh, here, let's see, maybe... Nope, still hefty. Good enough. I feel like we were just starting to get along. You were warming up to me. What have you done? You've wounded Count Emir most irreparably, such that he wishes. For yeah, no, I've heard it. Kaboom. <laughs> to the Count's concerns. This is going better. No thanks with all that. Yeah, this is um, this is the way. Nope. Kabooms again. My dear star, a fine mother, you will be. My shining star, um, grant me a mother's strength. Look here at my fingers. I will be the true mother, and I will be the only mother. I do not approve of any of this. My dear child.
Yeah, there's much to dislike. With all this. Goodness. Yeah, we're we're not going to allow this to continue, I don't think. Unacceptable. Kind of wish I had my fire sword right now. But we'll make do. Where'd you go? There you are. Yeah, you're gonna need more than that. Nope. Goodness. You got lucky. Okay. Whew. Almost got you. Just need to be careful. Time for big kabooms! Oh, you moved again. Come on, man. Nope. Yeah. Yipes! Ah! Oh, so close. Dear, your... Dear fingers. Oh, we are definitely putting a stop to this. Fire might do a little better still. Maybe. Maybe. It's also got a little more range. Let's try that. Am I going to have to fight both of them again? I imagine no. Well, let's find out. What have you done? That's unfortunate. You have to do some fast menuing. For your death, and I must attend to the Count's concerns. Now. Ouch. Again. Yeah. You are a little too much. Nope. That's a little better. Gonna need more than that. There we go. Quick switch, okay. Fingers, I will be the true mother, and I will be the only mother. Have fun with this. Yep, fire does good. And contends with the ads very nicely. Starting to wonder if they need to nerf the sword some more. <laughs> It is quite a lot. My dear child. Enjoy. We've made the world a better place, I think. Oh, hey, and the sun came out. Lovely. We, we've got some reading to do. Clearly. A lot of reading. So. High priest undergarments. <laughs> Soft and well-tailored. Robe of County Mir, high priest. Conceals the abundance of squirming beneath. Gold embroidery decorates the purple cloth with a jeweled ruff that sparkles like a flower wet with dew. 
The Hat of County Mir, High Priest. The circular design at the top represents the greater will in its lightless abyss, imparting increased intelligence and arcane to the wearer. Though County Mir instructed Relana in the sorceress arts, he abandoned his allegiance to the moon. It was merely the closest of the celestial bodies, nothing more. The Maternal Staff. Gross. The Staff of County Mir, who made himself a mother of fingers. Carried for want of tail fingers of his own. Enhances finger sorceries. The crystal ball, though representative of a microcosm, would not receive any sign. And Ymir's Bell Bearing. Bell Bearing of County Mir, Mother of Fingers, found upon his parish flesh. Offer to the Twin Maiden Husks and such. Right, okay. Well. This has all been eventful. I wonder if anything's different out here. There is... Hello. Cherishing fingers. Not sure I want this. A finger sorcery of Count Amir, aspiring mother of fingers. Surrounds the caster with a mesh of hefty fingers that wards all manner of projectiles, whether magical or physical in nature, away from the caster. The dear fingers look after their mother, or perhaps that's merely what the mother wishes to believe. This has all been some good, creepy nonsense out here. And it ended about as well as I expected. <laughs> The vibes began bad and never got better at any point. Nothing... wait. One thing different. It didn't have to go like this. Count Emir, the stars, the sky. I see them not. Aha! Okay. Neat. Glad I have more of these. Let's review. Because I think she's going to want a different one of these. An iris blessed with an incantation of the Erd Tree, place on the eye of another to grant them the light of grace as a fleeting blessing. Can be used... right. In the realm of shadow, this artifice was employed by the priests of the Erd Tree to quell the fears of their flock to magnificent effect. This one, though, is as dark as night, place on the eye of another to deny them light in all its forms. Uh, in the realm of shadow, this artifice was employed by the priests of the Erd Tree to intensify the fears of their flock to magnificent effect. I think this is the one she's gonna want. And despite everything, she seems cool, so. The night is ever dark. I need the stars. Give me light. Oh. And here I was thinking you'd want the other one. Well. All right. Do you say the same thing every time now? Because, like... The night is ever dark. I need the stars. Give me light. All right. Here. Oh. It blinds. As if our night simply never was. Sword Hand of Night Jolan. Welcome to the team. Spirit of a Sword Hand granted light by the Iris of Grace. 
wields a sword of bottomless black that penetrates the enemy's guard. Though it was not by the shining star that she had longed for, thus was her night illuminated. But this was an at times blinding light and threatened to expunge the night entirely. Neat. Well, welcome to the team. Very preferable having you on my side. So if I understand from comments correctly, in both of these circumstances, if you give the night version, rather than getting a uh, spirit ash, you get a weapon of some sort instead? Or maybe it's like a ash of war, not sure which. Some different item reward for doing it the other way. Which is neat. But okay, there's more reading we can do, I think. I want to first make sure there's not any other little items or goodies sitting around in here. I was about to say, I wonder what happens if you go and attack Emir from the get-go, but then I remembered little icon on the left of screen. We are in a no attack zone. But okay, yeah, I, I think we are done in here. Let's, let's head back to our on fire house. There are things to read. First, oh. Okay, one of these actually might be for me. No, uh, no, kind of. Well, close. No, not even that. This is a definite no on both counts, but let's read anyway. Staff of the Great Beyond. A staff fashioned from the tail fingers of Metir, the mother of fingers, and the microcosm raised aloft over the crux they form. Catalyst for casting both sorceries and incantations. Oh, that's cool. The mother received signs from the greater will from beyond of the microcosm. Despite being broken and abandoned, she kept waiting for another message to come. And the gazing finger. The head of Metir, the finger mother, wielded as a weapon without modification. From within the center of the fingerprint that wrinkles the creature's foremost protrusion, a tiny wart-like eye gazes vacantly into the beyond. And the skill is Kowtower's Resentment. A skill performed as a violent bow using a finger's foremost protrusion. Resentment builds as it is forced to bow, making it explode with anger. Hold the button down to further increase resentment. <laughs> it's good text. But yeah, I'm too dumb for both of these. And you'd think it would be pretty hard to be too dumb to use a large club, no matter what shape it's in. But um, here we are. Other thing to read, though, because I don't think I did it earlier. Uh, the... Eh, maybe I did read it earlier, I can't remember, but... I think it's the Veteran's Helm. The stuff that we got from Commander Gaius. Uh, once it was available in here. Oh, here, here it is. Gaius' Helm. I don't know if we read these. Uh, the Black Iron Helm of Commander Gaius. Gaius was the most senior disciple of the same Alabaster Lord. That's the, what I, the term I was looking for. The Alabaster Lord. Most senior disciple of the same Alabaster Lord who taught Radon and Gaia gravitational technique. Any other bits? No. Nope. Seems like no. Okay. Well, excellent. Now, hmm. There was something else. We got like a little bit more time. There was something else. Right, I remember now. There was one thing that I needed to go do. And uh, yeah, I was given a hint about it. So it's down here somewhere. What's, where's the nearest? Probably this one. Sure. I seem to have found myself somewhere different and dangerous. There's another one of these over here. Or maybe that's just one that spawns every time, I don't know. 
It's not where I was trying to go, though. And yet, I seem to be here. Fine. Fine. Guys, this is a lot. A little much, I think. Guys. A little much. Hey. Hey! Guys! Unbelievable. I was trying to go somewhere completely different to do something else. It's a little tangly over here. Can we... Please calm down. There's a lot. Thank you. Ah. Please calm down. I'm just trying to get my runes and move on with life. Yeah, go away. Didn't even want to be over here. Stop it. Stop it. Everyone leave me alone. There. No. Fine, all of you bring it. I don't know what's over here, but now I'm finding out. You're all terrible. Die. Okay. Uh. Seems a little far. What's up here then? Um. Village of Flies. Did I, I just found a whole new place? What? This wasn't what I was looking for at all. Oh boy. Okay. Now we're doing this. Show me the village. Thank you. I'll take it. Uh, okay. Nothing up there. Cool. Surely this is not the whole village. You guys. Yeah, don't love any of that. Let's check out the village. It's not much of a village, you guys. Hello. Right. Was it? Excuse me. It was a while ago, but yeah, I remember that. little sorcerer guy who was helping him out at the other village as well. Stop. Stop making the flies worse. They're already so bad. No. I've dealt with a lot of weird and gross today. No. No. No to all of this. Stop. You're all terrible. Uh. 
I saw at least one other shiny over here. Manfly Ashes. I don't... I don't really know if I want this. I'm pretty sure I don't want this. Yeah, I, I didn't... No. Used to summon the spirits of three manflies. Two of the manflies attack foes from the air, while the third spits poison from the rear. Afflicted horn scent eventually metamorphosed into a fly-like form. It was believed that the moment the transformation took place, they were relieved from their suffering. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it very much. They got up to some real nonsense out here. Nope. I'd like to leave. I don't know if this is a safe place to do so. Eh. Seems sketchy. There's a safer way down, I bet. There has to be another way down. Which is relatively safe. Has to be. Okay, I can jump back down here now, and that's something. Now to figure out how to get down to where I'm actually trying to go. Try to remember how to get down there, rather. Oh, it's probably... Uh, it's probably that over there. But it's scary to do this. The jumps make me nervous. And that's why. Okay. We're here again. And the only reason I wanted to be here again was to fight these things. Not that I'm, like, dying to fight these things. They're fine. But, um... Comments alerted me. These things have a tendency to drop Shadow Tree Blessings. And that is indeed a thing I want. So give. Tish, murder it. Ah! The big bites. Big bites. Beautiful. Nope, can't really reach, but that's fine. Good work, Tish. There's a one. There was another one out here. You. I need all these things I can get. A little out of reach. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> Worth seeing that, though. Did that not even hurt me? Why didn't that hurt me? I don't know why that didn't hurt, but, um... Grateful. Ow. Didn't mean to whiff there. Ow. 
Do you die already? There, thank you. Good work, Tish. MVP. Hey, all right. That's all I was here to get. Didn't sign on for a manfly village. Come on. Ooh, shiny. Six smithing stone, one. Our cup runneth over. Well. I can think of basically nothing else to do other than continuing to ascend the keep. Like, we could fight the two furnace golems, but whatever. Let's ascend the keep. On Thursday, at long last, we see what's waiting for us up there. See you then, everyone. Bye! Bye!